Hey guys, how's everyone doing tonight? Um, sorry for the uh, long uh, time since we've had a video, but getting ready for March on Music City um, and I had a great time with that. We ended up having 25 players at March on Music City, so it was a lot of work, but had a great turnout and I think everyone had a great time uh, with the um, with the tournament. So um, right now I am currently working on a Iron Hills Ballista. Um, let me see right here. That's what we're going to be working on tonight. Uh, just got this in the mail recently from um, from Games Workshop as they just came back in stock. And this is what it looks like on the inside. So we're going to be following the instructions on here. Um, and if you're watching, uh, make sure you uh, just leave a like and, and uh, push a comment. Let me know what you're up to tonight. Um, and so we're going to work on this. And then if we get done with this, we'll uh, work on some Lake Town Militia. Um, so I uh, hope everyone's doing well. I'm going to start with uh, this part. This is the basically the chassis um, that everything that the the ballista this is the base of it. So I'm going to start by cleaning this up. You can see it's got some plastic uh, down here around the wheels where they go. I'm just going to just flip those off and uh, get started with that. And now I'm working on a March on Music City summary video to show you uh, pictures and video from the event that we had uh, two weeks ago, um, right before Thanksgiving. Um, and like I said, we had 25 players, so it was a great turnout. Um, so I'm looking forward to sh releasing that. Um, should be coming out, should be finished with it um, next week. So I'll be releasing that next week for everyone to see um, and giving our thoughts about how everything went and, um, and talk about what we're planning on doing for next year. Here, and I'm just cleaning up the wheels and cleaning up the base of the Iron Hills Ballista. That way you can see it. And I've got another uh, camera currently away, so um, we'll have a top-down view of everything here starting next week. So that way you can see um, kind of what my, my work palette looks like. And you'll be able to see a top-down view of it instead of me having to hold it up to the camera like I am right now. But yeah, working on some Iron Hills right now. Um, we had them for our, our team event, uh, for March on Music City 2019, where we had the Battle of Five Army scenario that we did as a fun event. And, uh, so right now I'm just working on finishing up, um, everything in the Iron Hills. Uh, and then going to start working on Lake Town to do a, a triple alliance between Lake Town, Grand Wills Halls, and, um, and Iron Hills. I've seen um, saw them play to the tournament last year, and I thought they were really cool and had um, a lot of synergy. So I thought I would try them out myself. And I've been that was back in January of last year at um, March for the Stone Lake Mountain, which was the grand tournament held in Atlanta. Um, and I saw um, Matt Iverson play that list. Um, it was very powerful. It crushed me I, at the time. I was playing. Just started playing the game and was playing um, um, was playing the three hunters list. Um, so now that we've got the got the chassis kind of all cleaned up, I've got all the plastic um, off of it. We're going to move on to the next step uh, in the manual. So our next step that we're going to be doing um, is we're going to um, take the the, um, the launcher and glue on these side pieces right here. We've got uh, the main uh, part right here with the, uh, the bolt that comes out the end of it right here. So we're just going to clip this piece off and then clean it up and then attach the uh, end pieces to it. So Christopher, what are you um, working on right now? What are you um, playing and, and doing?
Right now I'm currently using my webcam, but we will have uh, two cameras starting next week. So that'll be nice to get a get to see my face and you also see a top down of, of my work palette. So that way I don't have to hold everything up here. Yeah, I clipped it off. You can see what this looks like now. It's a little bent, but uh, once we glue everything together, it'll straighten up. My friend John Billy, he um, he has one of these that I've gotten to play with, and it's uh, a lot of fun. It's just a fun siege weapons are just fun in general because they're different than you know armies, uh, you know militia and things like that. And the plan is, is for every uh, every Wednesday, we'll have the um, this live stream where we'll be working on something. So once I get done putting together the Iron Hills um, Ballista and my Lake Town Militia that I'm going to be working on next, the next thing I'm going to start doing is I'm going to prime all these guys. And live stream next week, we'll be starting, um, we'll be working on probably Dane or Bard. Um, and we'll do a kind of a paint, how to paint those guys. So these are what the arm pieces look like that attach onto the bolt thrower, so we're just going to glue these suckers on to the side of it. From what we just cleaned up, as you can see here. I'm gonna clean up, clean up these pieces a little bit. There's a little bit of plastic on the inside. I'm just gonna clean those up. That way they'll sit flush when I put glue them on. So that should do it, I think. I'm going to try and just do a dry fit. Yep. And now it fits nice and snug on there. I'm just going to add a little bit of my, I use Loctite. It's my favorite uh, liquid glue. Um, you can get it from Walmart. It's pretty cheap. Throw a dab on there. Let that sit. Sorry, send out a text real quick. I'm going to do a dry fit on the other side, make sure it fits well. There it does. Just cut off a little bit. There's a little excess there at the end. I'm going to cut off. Yep. And add a little bit of glue onto the other side now on, just on these two little dots there.
So that's what it looks like after I've glued it on together. Not too shabby. All right, now that we've got that done, we're gonna, the next part is to uh, glue the ropes on here. So we're gonna do that next. So you've got the ropes that come on a sprue like this, and you can see there's a lot of junk on it, so I'm gonna clean that up a little bit. Looks pretty good now. You see there? It's all cleaned up now. Now I'm just going to cut this off with some, um, these are diamond uh, cutters from Army Painter that I'm using. Unfortunately, my ropes broke when I did that, so I'll just have to glue those back together, but okay. I've got those cut off. I'll grab the piece that flew off. All right. Yep, so now you can see I've got the rope pieces here. Just gonna glue those back together. little dab. Just gonna let this sit for about a minute while the glue solidifies as they glue the ropes back together. It's like new.
nice thing about this was a clean break so you can feel kind of where it's supposed to go back together at. It's good. I'm just going to hold these together. It is new. Do the other one. Just gonna hold this here for about a minute while it solidifies. It's being a little bit more difficult. All right, there we go. I'm gonna let that one solidify a little bit longer. And yeah, the other one here now. I'm gonna glue this one on. As you can see on the on the bolt on the ballista, you can see it's got two little divots here. So that's where you know where to put. Um, the end of this rope here. You see there it's got, got two little divots right there. You can see that's where it's going to glue in at. And throw a couple of 
Lots of glue there where the little crevices are at. I'm going to throw some up here where the rope's going to go. It wants to know what I'm doing. Got a little bit of excess here on the ropes. I'm going to cut a little bit of that off so that way it'll sit flush on there using my, uh, my cutters here. I'm just going to let that sit where the glue's at. You can see right there. Good. Just kind of holding this, kind of helping my, helping it bend back to where it should. And I know if you use hot water with this, it should also do the same thing. But I'm going to try and do it without hot water first and see if we can do it. All right, so I'm going to do the next one. Same thing. I'm just going to glue the the put some glue in these crevices right here. And I'm going to glue some right here where the rope's going to go. Yep, so I'm just holding the, the joints together right now, letting it solidify. You can see it there. Now pretty solid. I'll throw a little bit more glue on the rope where it broke at, so it just makes it a little bit stronger. I'm just cleaning up the end of the rope a little bit and some and some leftovers. I'm just going to um, push the rope and the blister together to where it'll hold. I'm going to hold it like this probably for a couple of minutes.
I'm going to come back to this later. For right now, that's how it looks like. All right, so next part um, is to attach the bolt on there, as you can see there. So we're gonna attach the bolt next, which is like this on the sprue. Um, you can see here, so I'm just gonna clean up a little bit over here on the end and on the sides. A lot of times also if you just run your finger up and down, you can get the flakes off, which is which will help. Yep, so there you go. Let's see what it looks like here now. So I'm just gonna clip that off and attach that on. Grab me a swig here. All right, so now we've got the bolt off. I'm going to glue this on to the ballista here. It also helps if you don't drop it. All right. So I'm just going to throw some glue down the center of this, and then I'm going to place the bolt on top of it. So there you can see what it looks like. They're just kind of straighten this out so that way it's pretty straight. So there you go, that's what it looks like with that on. Next thing we're going to do is add the elevation support and the trigger to it. It's right here shown on this sprue. Like so, so just going to clip these off.
Yep, so the trigger's gonna just sit like this on to the ballista. You can see it'll sit just like so. I'm just gonna put some glue right there. Yep, so I'm going to hold it like this for just a few minutes. Let it solidify. Now that we've got that on, we're going to put the elevation support on, and it kind of goes underneath it, so it's going to go uh, kind of like this. And it goes right where this crevice is at, here. So it's going to go just like, whoop, like that. I'm going to leave it just like this for right now, because I don't want to make sure when it sits on the blister, it fits right. So if I glue it, doesn't fit right, then uh, it's going to be tougher later on. So next thing we're going to do is add the capstan that's on, which are these little crank things. Um, so we're going to cut these off and glue those on next. There's one. And the next one. Boop. There's the next one. Just got to clean that one up a little bit. All right, there's the next one. And so the this part is going to go towards the outside, so it's going to fit like this. So if you look at the ballista as we have it at the moment, it's going to fit right uh, right here. There's a little, little knob that's coming out. It's going to stick it right on there. Right there. I'm just going to throw a little bit of glue on it. There's one. Let's see what it looks like. I'm going to clean this other one up just a little bit. Uh, that looks pretty good. So I'll add that one on next. Yes, yeah, so that one. So that's how it looks like now. And if you do look, uh, I found there's two little bitty holes right. There's a hole right there that you actually put the rope in. You can see that. So I'm going to add a little bit of glue there and move the rope actually to that spot.
So right now I'm just kind of holding the rope in the little spot where it goes, so that way it'll uh, solidify and stay there. All right, so now we've got those two parts on. The next thing that uh, we're going to do is we're going to start working on the base. So we're going to start gluing on the uh, the borders onto it. We've got our base here. And so we're going to glue the, it's going to go like this. The, the front pieces are going to go right here. And there's actually some indentations you can see there that you know that's where it's going to go. So. The uh, big wheels will be towards the front. And so this is what the pieces look like. You got this piece here, and you've got the other piece here. So I'm going to clip these off and uh, glue them on. I'm just going to clean it up a little bit. There's some releasing compounds still on there and some edges that did not come off very smooth from when I cut it. All right, so there's that piece. And add, work on the next one now. All right, so there's the next piece. We're going to glue these pieces on now. So you can see it's going to fit kind of like that on the front of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to glue, put some glue on the edges here where it's going to fit. I missed some spot. Clean it up a little bit real quick. All right.
I'm actually going to glue the other piece on first. Right piece. Yep, so it goes like that. I'm going to hold it in place for a couple of minutes, maybe a minute or two. I get rid of one of the little pins that was on it so that way it'll sit more flush. All right, so I was holding it like so right now. So I'm just holding it right now to that way it'll solidify and, and stay in place. Yeah, by the time you could probably, you know, if I, if I wasn't videotaping this, I could probably get this done in about 30 minutes, 45 minutes. Um, so not, not hard at all. Yeah, once I get this done, I'm going to prime it uh, tomorrow. And then we'll start, I'm going to start painting it um, hopefully next week. It's going to be a whole lot of dry brushing. All right, so now you can see it looks like that now. So next step is to kind of just lay the ballista um, down into it. The cool part is that you can kind of let it sit how you want in there. Yep, so you can see it's going to kind of look like that once I glue it together. I'm going to add some glue in here. Yep, you can see it's going to look like that.
look like so. I'm just kind of holding it in the place that I want it to solidify in. Once we have it in like that, we're going to glue the other front piece on. I'm going to glue the other piece on now. Yep, you can see I'm just holding it together like so to kind of make a kind of pincher on it. Now that we have that on there, the next thing and last thing to do is to put the wheels on. Boom. These are the big wheels. These guys are going to go on the front. Um, and I've got the little bitty wheels here on the back end. The wheels have little bitty kind of brackets on the inside, so I'm just going to kind of cut these out. There's one wheel down. Boom. Do the other one now.
There's that one. We got the little bitty wheels left. Throw those guys. Clean them up a little bit. All right, so I'm just gonna clip these guys off now. Uh, actually, I'm gonna keep these guys as is for the moment because I'm going to, I'll prime them black and then I'm just gonna dry brush them like so, so that way I can get to all the pieces. That's pretty much it, guys. We've got these guys I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna put together and um, go ahead and chop these guys off and glue their pieces on. Yeah, I'm gonna leave the wheels off for now so that way I can prime them and uh, and then dry brush them up with uh, the browns and the metallics. Yep, just cleaning up these guys right now. Oh, fell off. That's what one of the guys looks like. You can see there. Clean up his feet a little bit. There's the second guy, what he looks like, kind of pointing off into the distance.
these guys off the sprue. Right, and there's next guy, and there's the other guy, and here's the other guy. So these guys are going to be the guys that are going to be on the on the ballista. These two, and then the other two are uh, one of the guys is loading the ballista, and then this is the leader guy. And he's kind of the guy that's pointing. So, um, see, so I'm just going to clean these guys up, and we'll call it done for the night. Try and keep the video down to about an hour, which is what I was hoping for. Yeah, I'm just going to stick some ski tack on these guys and prime them up in the morning. That's typically how I prime my guys. I just throw some sticky tack on their feet, put them on a cardboard box um, from something I've gotten, and then just uh, prime them up. Yeah, so they're looking good. So you can see pretty much the finished product minus the, uh, the guys attached to it. I'm going to glue the, the ropes on um, here in a little bit, but that'll pretty much do it. So, uh, guys, thank you all for joining us tonight. Um, stay tuned. Next Wednesday, we'll start doing a, We'll do another painting video. Um, not sure if I'm going to do Dane or Bard yet, but we'll do one of those two guys and kind of do a painting series video again. Um, and we'll have the new camera by then, so you'll see a front view of me, and then you'll also see a down view of what I'm painting. Um, so thank you all for uh, watching tonight, guys. Make sure you like the video. Uh, if you liked it, uh, leave a comment on it, and uh, we'll see you next time. Have a good night, guys.